Uh, not a thing that we're doing. Getting it underway. Yes. Desnier oh, okay. on the player one side, okay. and my good old buddy, fellow net battles, Duel Kevin, on the player two side. Yeah. Kimberly versus Lee. Let's get it. Yeah, very interested to see how this one is going to turn out. I mean, especially like when you have a player with a caliber like Kevin. What is Disney going to bring? Well, oh, bring some punches and some kickies and some throwies. Yeah, we're going to start with that standing medium kick into the drive rush, get into the corner carry. Duel Kevin, uh, a Hawkeye player at Marvel 3, very comfortable sitting in the corner and does not care about it. No, and Duel Kevin having played that character and that team earlier today. Ooh, nice perfect parry coming out there for Disney and is going to take a full punish. Hard knockdown into the corner. This is actually a really good position for them to be in. Yep, gets the up kicks for the uh, finishing the combo. Does not go on the follow up there. Don't want to do that against a top level player. Uh, no, definitely not. So what do we have on the approach here? Okay, we got a little bit of a drive rush into the knee. I feel like so many of Luke's moves are really ambiguous. That was a good tech. Understanding that that throw was incoming. Yeah, you have to expect that too. Ooh, and now everybody's sitting on some pretty similar meter, actually. Like, all across the board, everything is fairly similar. So, even playing field, for the most part, back in neutral. Yep. All, all the way back to the middle of the stage as well. Kimberly trying to get some pressure there with the drive rush into the tick throw. Life lead on Desnier's side. Yep, but barely, though, now. I mean, Kevin is getting some good hits in there. There's another one with a drive rush afterwards. Spends all of the bar, goes into burnout because he knows he's going to finish that one. That's the one thing that I feel like really stands out on higher level Street Fighter players. Is drive that gauge management. Drive gauge management. When you spend it well, when you understand that the kill is within your grasp and you see them just dump all of their resources, I think it's an incredible way to show your understanding of the game. Yeah, for sure. We're going to start seeing some throw loops from Dual Kevin's side as well. Only going for two at the moment. Great tech throw from both players. And actually gets the level one to punish that elbow drop. There is some landing recovery on that. And Desnier is going to go down. Dual Kevin goes up 1-0 with that perfect. Wow, I feel like that first round, I mean, and I know Desnier was doing a really good job in that first round, maintaining pressure, doing really well offensively. And then Kevin was like, what first round? Kachonk! Yeah, the level of precision that we see with Dual Kevin just managing the health resources on not only his side, but the opponent's side as well. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, I mean, it's what you have to expect from someone that is able to qualify for Capcom Cup and have uh, an opportunity to do so well. But right now we're seeing some massive throw damage for, uh, uh, coming wow. from Desnier's side. Oh, reversal though, that EX reversal coming out. Resetting a little bit, but Kevin has a long way to go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get a punish there. It's not a huge punish counter, but it does make Desnier think a little bit. And now they're put into burnout and they've got nothing to spend. Being in this corner too is a really dangerous situation. Throw loop started here. Yeah, the and I even though it wasn't very much damage, the, the the what was important with that super punish on the elbow was just the drive gauge damage because now Kimberly was in that uh, burnout situation in the corner. Kevin got so much mileage out of that and able to close out that round decisively. Oh wow, really nice opening kick into the drive rush and then count confirming off of the wall bounce. It's always so fun to get to see that. Look at the damage that Kevin just put out back in the corner, a place where he's clearly extremely comfortable, like you said, being a Hawkeye player. Yep. And then Kimberly is going to be returning the favor, putting him back into the corner, and that's going to be a level three trying to cash out. Kevin will be close to a burnout in this situation. Luke, yeah. uh, you know, would like to have, uh, have that drive rush gauge, but uh, Kimberly needs the yeah. opportunity to get the burnout. And there it was. It was a really good thing that you noted that, that was coming up, Airborne, because now we see how much more defensively Kevin is playing. Has to be really careful. The counter hits, though, coming out, just biding his time, trying not to get hit with a wall bounce, but now has that back and is in critical art range. Yeah, just a level of respect not going for the uh, DI into the stun there, knowing that uh, Kevin will be able to adapt to it and punish it. Gets the Ooh. burnout and was not ready for the oh charge my punch. That punch to the face. That, ow, that hurt my soul. Luke up 2-0. Luke Kevin getting that pressure, and that's going to be a corner carry. And again, the throw loops here. Did you get the EX uppercuts? Do it again. And here's the throw loops with a good punish counter. Hard knockdown, but a throw escape immediately afterwards. The knees drive rush. Kevin is tasting blood with another perfect. That's so. The first round went really long, and then you got a really fast perfect, and that's happened twice now. 
That's what you're going to see from a top level player. You're going to see them spend the time for the first couple rounds gathering enough information to figure out what they need in order to close out the set. Desney are trying to get the pressure, but just ends up eating the OD uppercut and already getting pressed back to mid screen. Luke with the pressure right now, trades on the counter hit. Yeah, nice trade. It's fun to see that, especially when the frame data matches each other. Drive Rush coming in once again into an uppercut. I don't believe that was EX, no, but once again, Kevin is empty, does not matter. Gonna spend the meter. Yeah, he stands up. 69 seconds on the clock. Nice, we're out of here. So that Decisive. means Kevin sitting in grand finals, waiting for the rest of how this is going to turn out. Yeah, the decisive. I would agree, decisive.